We've got our whole team dedicated to getting you the answers you need in the midst of this growing outbreak. To start, we'll hear from a K-State freshman who was one of the first people in Kansas diagnosed with the coronavirus. KSNT's Dan Garrett is live in downtown Topeka to tell us about her recovery. Dan? Brooke, officials here at the Kansas State Health Department say they don't think the number of coronavirus cases will start going down until the end of next month, which means we all need to be taking the necess necessary precautions now to avoid getting sick. But for those who are impacted, being sick in isolation for weeks can take its toll. K-State freshman Kennedy Mounts and her mom are able to do things they once took for granted like being able to go grocery shopping. We first told you about Kennedy when she was originally diagnosed with the coronavirus. Fatigued and tired. Um, again, I had a horrible headache. Harley, come on. This week, Kennedy was given the all clear from her health department to be able to leave her house. She was even able to meet her sister's new puppy named Rona, short for coronavirus. I know that I am nothing short of blessed to have had minor, the minor symptoms that I did and just the, the immune system that my immune system fought back and it fought hard. In this case, we had to watch um, one of two videos. Kennedy is now back to a semi-normal life. She is able to continue her classes through K-State, but like all other students right now, her learning is done at home. Kennedy's mom says the rest of the family took precautions to avoid getting sick. We jumped in from pretty much her first symptom and isolated her which I think, you know, this story could have been very different had we not done that. The state's health department says to follow Kennedy's example and stay home as soon as you start feeling any symptoms. Then call your doctor and let them know what's going on and they will be able to tell you what to do from there. Live in downtown Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Dan. Wise advice there. If you feel sick, stay home. We've been saying it for weeks now, but really it shows it pays off if you do that.